posterior wall of the middle ear contains several important landmarks which an otologist must have a minute knowledge of. Let us have a detailed look at the various structures that are the hallmarks of the posterior wall. We are going to have a detailed look at the posterior wall of the middle ear. The posterior wall of the middle ear is a complex architectural structure and containing important landmarks. Above is the editus through which the middle ear communicates with the mastoid antrum. Below the editus is the fossa incubus into which is inserted the short process of the incus. That is the short process of the incus. That is the body of incus, the articular facet of the incus, the long process of the incus and the tip which turns inwards to attach to the capitulum of the stapes is called the lenticular process of the incus. The short process of the incus is inserted and fixed to the fossa incubus by the posterior ligament of the incus and attaching to the articular facet is the head of malleus that is the head of malleus that is the lateral process of the malleus the handle of malleus and the anterior process of the malleus below the fossa incubus is a small conical structure called the pyramid within which is the stapedius muscle whose tendon emits from the apex of the pyramid passing forwards to insert into the posterior aspect of the neck of the stapes. This is a cross-sectional CT showing the middle ear and the posterior wall. That is the tympanic membrane. That is the middle ear space. That is the facial canal and the facial nerve within. And lateral to the facial nerve is the facial recess. And medial to the facial nerve is the sinus tympani. This picture shows the stapedius muscle in the posterior wall of the middle ear space. The stapedius muscle lies within the pyramid and its muscle fibers converge into a round tendon which passes anteriorly to emerge from the pyramidal eminence. The tendon inserts into the posterior part of the stapedial head, the posterior crus and in some cases the capsule of the incurostipital joint. This is a cross section of the middle ear at the level of the epitympanum. That is the epitympanum or the attic containing the head of malleus and the body of incus. The epitympanum is separated from the external auditory canal by a vertical plate of bone called the scutum. The epitympanum communicates with the mastoid antrum via the editus. This is a diagrammatic representation of the sinus tympani and the facial recess. If that is the facial nerve, and if this is medial and that is lateral, medial to the facial nerve is the sinus tympani and lateral to the facial nerve is the facial recess bounded on its lateral aspect by the chorda tympani. The medial wall of the sinus tympani is the medial wall of the mesotympanum. The sinus tympani lies between the facial nerve 
and the medial wall of the mesotympanum. It is difficult to access surgically. The facial recess is lateral to the facial nerve, bounded by the fossa incudis superiorly and the cauda tympani nerve laterally. It may be directly accessed via a posterior approach through the mastoid and this is called the posterior tympanotomy or the facial recess approach. The sinus has for its posterior boundary the pyramidal eminence and for its medial boundary the ampulla of the posterior semicircular canal. It is separated from the ampulla by a thin plate of bone. The tympanic sinus is a small depression which is always present and is located on the border of the posterior and medial walls of the tympanic cavity. The tympanic sinus is bounded laterally by the facial canal and the pyramidal eminence. That is the tympanic sinus and this is the pyramidal eminence. For its upper boundary it has the promontory ridge that is the promontory ridge and through inferiorly the tympanic sinus is related to the round window niche separated from it by the supiculum. The floor of a deep tympanic sinus may protrude upward and reach the prominence of the lateral semicircular canal. It should be noted that this localization is a risk factor for post-operative perilymphatic fistula following surgical damage to these structures. The sinus tympani is bounded laterally by the facial canal and the pyramidal eminence. For its upper boundary, it has what is called the promontory bridge. The tympanic sinus is bounded anteroinferiorly by the round window and the two structures are divided by the subiculum of the promontory. A shallow sinus is often correlated with a prominent promontory bridge whereas when the sinus was deep this often correlated with a very small promontory bridge. Superior to the tympanic sinus runs the promontory bridge. Now this is a bone trabecular connecting the promontory to the pyramidal eminence lying within the posterior wall of the tympanic cavity. The promontory bridge often happens to be multiple and sometimes does not exist at all. Up to the promontory bridge lies the fossa of the oval window into which fits the base of the stepidal foot plate. This is the promontory bridge which is a bony trabecular connecting the promontory to the pyramidal eminence. The sinus has for its posterior boundary the pyramidal eminence and for its medial boundary the ampulla of the posterior semicircular canal and it is separated from the canal by a thin plate of bone. The sinus is of variable size and may reach 10 millimeters in depth. Here we have the three types of sinus tympani. The first is what we call the facile type, shallow. Next we have the intermediate type and then we have the difficile type nearly 10 millimeters in depth. The three types of sinus tympani. Below the pyramid is a small shallow recess and this is called the sub-pyramidal space. This picture shows the various types of sinus tympani. 
the shallow, the intermediate and the deep type. That shows the middle ear and here is the facial nerve descending in the posterior wall. This is a magnified view of the tympanic sinus. That is the sinus tympani. That is the promontory bridge. This is the pyramidal eminence. That is the tendon of the stapedius passing forwards to insert into the posterior aspect of the neck of the stapes. That is the sub-pyramidal space. This is the round window niche. And that is the subiculum which separates it from the sinus tympani. 